Today, I'm going to be showing you Agent Zero, which basically allows you to build and automate anything in one single click. So what I'm going to show you here, for example, is you've got Agent Zero is working its magic and it can generate responses really quickly. As an example of this, you can see this synth keyboard we built out. We've also got this game I literally built out in a couple of clicks, cheat sheet that I built and a racing game that we actually built in one single click as well. And pretty much what you can do with this tool is you can create games, you can create apps, you can, for example, create landing pages, as you can see, really nicely designed. And then also you can basically tell it whatever you want to do. On top of that, you can also tell it to create like PDFs and that sort of thing. And this is really easy to set up. Like literally all you need to do, you just go into terminal, you paste a few commands and then you're good to go. If you want to know exactly how to set this up step by step, check out the AI success lab, completely free link in the comments description. And inside there, we've got all the resources for all this stuff, plus some courses on MCP agents, Manus AI, etc. So if you want to learn how to use super agents like this, feel free to check that out. Link in the comments description. You see here, for example, we said create a powerful cheat sheet for the top of AS ASEO. Include sounds, animations, bright colors, confetti animations. Try to induce as much dopamine as possible and then link to all my funnels, right? And this is hosted locally as well. So we are actually running this locally via Docker and Terminal. So it's completely free to, to start running. And then you can see it came back to us and started generating the outputs, right? So really easy and simple to set up. And if you want to start using this yourself, quite basic. So all you need to do is you can go into the chat once you set up the terminal. And then from here, you can type in the command, right? You can even import knowledge. So you can see here, you can import knowledge about you and give it more context. You can attach files, you can look at your history, context, you can give it a nudge as well. And you can also pause the I agent at the bottom here too. So if we go inside here and we say, okay, let's, let me find some cool prompts from the AI success lab one sec. For example, let's say build the game Sonic as single HTML. We'll go back to agent zero. We'll plug that in. We'll hit enter. And then you can see it's thinking mode here and agent zero is now generating the response, right? It explains how it's going to do it what tool it's going to use. So it's kind of like a wrapper that's connected to many different tools. And then you can see it's actually coding out the HTML block here. Someone commented free. That is my favorite price. I would agree with you. Who doesn't like free? And then you can see it's working its magic right here. You've also got this auto scroll option. So it'll keep scrolling down as it's using the tool and you switch between dark and light mode, which is pretty nice. You can also switch off showing the thoughts if you want to, and you can also show the JSON as well. Right. So it's now created the game and you can see we've got the game ready to go right there with the sonic rings and everything, right? Literally coded it like perfectly first time around. It's crazy. Obviously you would build that out even more, but on a first attempt it worked and it was really easy to deploy as well. And we've coded it locally, right? Pretty much anything that you want, this agent zero could do. It's amazing stuff. You can also see the history right here. So for example, synth keyboard, we said build a synth keyboard, then it went off, started responding. It's very quick when it responds. And then it's right, here's your keyboard, mate. Boom, shack, a lack of this, open this up. And there you go, you got the notes over here. So you got the black notes and the white notes, and then you can play this. Beautiful, making beautiful music. Who doesn't want to do that? All right, for example, here as well, we can look at the rainbow shooter. So you can go back and forth as well and just change whatever you want. But I said, build a racer game where you control a ship dodging obstacles to the beat of music each hit distorts visuals and resets your combo single html as you can see and you don't need to be a coder to use this like literally all you need to do is use it like chat gpt and say build this out build that out whatever right now one of the things you'll notice is that this is running via an api right so if you go to settings over here you can then plug in your api keys here now the tool itself completely free right it's open source is hosted via GitHub. You can set it up for free. All the instructions on how to do that are inside the AI Success Lab, which is free as well. But if you want to plug an API key in, you can actually link it to Google and Google's AI is free, right? So if you prefer to use Google, then you can use that for free over here. I am using OpenAI just to make it easy, but yeah, you can plug in whichever API key you want. Even like, for example, DeepSeek, you've got Google there, which is free, Mistral, as well, OpenRoot has loads of free API keys inside there as well. So whatever you want to use, however you want to use it, you can pretty simple and easy. You can also run this with Olama as well. So you can actually set up Olama locally and then start running it. 
like, and then you can switch between the chat models, right? So down here, we could switch to Google, for example, and then change the chat model name. And if, inside there, you get a lot of customization. So you get a lot of different like options as well. Like for example, the knowledge subdirectory. So you can have a subdirectory of knowledge for more context about you, who you are, etc. And then you can also change the embedding model, the web browser model. So this can actually, looks like you can actually use your web browser, which I've not tested yet, but maybe we can do that in a sec. Let's see if this can use my browser. I don't think it can, but let's give it a whirl. So it says, I can use a browser within my environment to perform tasks such as browsing websites, fill in forms, etc. I cannot directly control your personal browser on your device. If you need me to interact with a website or perform a web-based task, just let me know what you want to accomplish. But let's see if we can do this. So if we say, okay, go and take a screenshot of juliangoldie.com. So it's using the browser agent. It says it's opening up juliangoldie.com. Oh, it's actually done it. What a ta this is just amazing. Look at that. It's actually gone onto the internet, found my website. It's using the API key from OpenAI and then it just goes off and starts browsing stuff. Again, you can change that to Google or Open Router, and then you don't have to pay for the API even, right? And then you've got a free AI super agent with a free API key and you've got the setup instructions for free as well inside the AI success lab. So that is pretty amazing to be fair super fast as well as you can see like when it's coming back to you when it's replying to responses really quick when it's doing its magic I even tried to play the video as you can see right there and then it takes screenshots of the whole web page and everything that's going on pretty cool we can also pause the agent so if it's stuck on browsing or whatever we can pause it there if you go on the history you can see the conversational history as well in the context window and then there's a section for chats and there's also a section for tasks so you can add tasks to the list as well, I believe, if you want to. And you can restart this, or you can save the chat as well. So you could save a chat and then load a chat. Pretty cool. Now, this is very similar to AI super agents, for example, like GenSpark. The difference being that Agent Zero is open source and it runs locally, right? So that's quite different to something like GenSpark as well. We can compare them side by side. So let's have a look here. Bear in mind, you have to use credits and you have to pay for GenSpark to use it. If we take exactly the same prompt here, which is like research Julian Goldie and his AI profit boardroom, then generate a landing page to sell it. We plug that into Agent Zero over here, which is a free alternative to GenSpark. We'll wait for those to load. So it's working its magic. And first of all, it's using the knowledge tool to generate responses. Now it's planning out how it's going to code the page and it went straight into coding, right? Now, if we did the same thing inside GenSpark, I think that's going to take a lot longer to do. So let's test this out. Yeah, so you can see inside GenSpark, it is taking a lot longer to respond. And if you're using something like Manus, the way that Manus would do it, which is another AI super agent, Manus would take a lot longer to respond. And also it uses the browser control, not the live search to get information. Now, the difference between those is the browser control, if it's like looking through the internet and actively looking at the screen, it's going to be a lot slower. Whereas if you're using a tool like reading the internet, as you can see Agent Zero and GenSpark are doing, then it's a lot faster. Now we've actually got the HTML ready to go. So this is the page. And then if we open this up, we've got the landing page for the AR Profit Boardroom. And look at that, it links straight to the website. I didn't give it the website, it just figured out, okay, this is the page to send it to. I actually don't like the design that much, but considering how fast it was, that's not bad at all. I'm pretty sure as well, if you use something like Claude as the API key there, then you would get a much nicer front end. But the fact that it moves so quickly, it is free to use, is extremely fast, is absolutely awesome, to be fair. And is it open source? Absolutely. So if you want to get access to this, I've got the notes inside the AI Success Lab. Just go to the Agent Zero section here. And if you go to the Agent Zero section, as you can see, you'll see all these resources and useful links. So if you go to the GitHub, you can see all the information about it. So let's play this and look at the showcase. This is Agent Zero, not just a chatbot. No. They should use my YouTube video as a demo, to be fair. And then you can see an example of what it is, how it works, etc., the key features. And yeah, it's on GitHub, so it is open source. And then you can see an example of how it works, right? So the first use is like just general purpose sort of assistant stuff. Number two is actually using your computer as a tool. So you can actually use the operating system as a tool to accomplish its tasks. 
It can also have multiple different agents inside it. And you can actually customize the whole thing. But yeah, really cool. And then it's running inside Docker, right? Which is kind of like a virtual environment, which is a lot safer. It does have a warning here that says Agent Zero can be dangerous with proper instruction. Agent Zero is capable of many things, even potentially dangerous things. So just be careful right there. And it says always run Agent Zero in an isolated, docu isolated environment like Docker and be careful what you wish for, right? And also the fact that it's just prompt based is pretty nice. Now, if we go back to GenSpark, to be fair, this page looks a lot nicer. But I think what we could actually do is if you have a page in mind that you want to build, we can take that and then we can start using that inside Agent Zero. So for example, if we take this image that we want to build, we'll go back to Agent Zero. We are going to attach that image that we just created. There we go. And then we're going to say, okay, now make the page look like this and see if it can work with that agentically. You can see how easy this is to set up. Honestly, it was just like literally a little copy and paste into terminal and we're good to go. And then, yeah, you can work its magic. I wonder as well if you can have multiple tabs running. So if we go to a new chat side here, let's see if we can run two tasks side by side. So we've got one version right here and then we'll run another chat at the same time and see if we can have two agents running at the same time. So it looks like you can have multiple tabs running at the same time, which is pretty cool. If we download this, we've got the page created and that is almost perfect. That's really cool. So if we have a look at the page that we just created with Agent Zero, let's take a look. All right, we're going to pull this up side by side. All right, so this is the image that we asked Agent Zero to create. And this is what it actually created. That's crazy. As in crazy good. It basically replicated the page almost perfectly within a few clicks. And there were no errors or anything like that. And then you could say build out the rest of the page. The other thing I would say is, yeah, it's very similar to Open Manus and those other tools but it looks a lot nicer. Like the UI is a lot nicer and also it's a lot more capable. I did find with Open Manus that it had a few issues and it would just get a bit buggy sometimes. Whereas with Agent Zero, it seems to be a lot more capable and the design is super nice when it's done that task. So look at the SEO calculator. And then I like the fact that on the left-hand side here, you've got all the different options. Really cool. Let's try a new task now. So we'll say, for example, okay, go off and find three different SEO agencies I could contact to sell white label link building to. I wonder what tool it's going to use for that. So it's using the tool name search engine to do this. So it's actually got like a search capability and look how fast it is to reply. This is just outrageous. So it says agents here are responding. Here are three different SEO agencies you could contact. Here's their information, right? So you could use this AI agent as well for lead generation too. It's not just for building stuff. Like I've shown you in this video so far, we've built a synth keyboard, a rainbow shooter, PDFs, a game that looks like Sonic. We've browsed the web and taken screenshots of different websites. We've created this awesome landing page. And then we also did some lead generation and it found us like instant results, right? It's, it seems quicker than ChatGPT, which is weird. It is really powerful and you can set it up for free. You can use the APIs for free using Google or Open Router, and then you can go off on the web and do whatever you want. And you don't have to pay for super agents like GenSpark or Manus because you've got the whole process right here. Now, if you want to get the full setup instructions for this stuff, feel free to get it inside the AI Profit Boardroom. You can just click the SAP right here. Additionally, if you want to get a free checklist on using this stuff, then feel free to get that inside the AI success lab. So I've actually created this cheat sheet on agent zero that shows you what it is, why it's different, how it works, etc. This is inside the AI success lab complete for free. If you want to steal this stuff, gives you some examples, plus compares it against traditional agents. So you understand the differences and then answers some of the FAQs as well. So feel free to get that. That's inside the AI success lab. You can see all these resources right here, plus the useful links, plus some examples of what I built as well previously. So if you want to get that, feel free to get it inside the AI Success Lab. We're also giving away like free trainings inside here every single day. And it comes with an awesome community of 8,800 members. Additionally, if you want to get help 
support. If you want to learn how to make money with AI and save time and automate stuff, feel free to get the AI Profit Boardroom. This is basically an awesome community with 670 members, as you can see, comes with coaching calls. I'm very active in here. So for example, Aaron posted a question about AISO and I go back to him straight away. As you can see, this very active, everyone's trying to help each other. And also inside the classroom comes with all my best automations, agents, all the stuff that I actually implement inside my business to grow. And it comes with weekly coaching calls to so live calls. So you can ask any questions you have. You can DM me if you have any questions. And also we record all the Q&A calls here as well. So if you want to watch them back, you can as well. And then additionally, it just comes with loads of cool stuff. Also, the thing that I would say here is if you want access to, for example, the setup instructions for Agent Zero, I've got them inside the AI Profit Boardroom. If you want to get a course on the best free alternatives, how to use recode and computer use, free MCP agents, etc. Basically, if you love super agents, you're going to find loads of different course links here inside the AR Profit Board. Feel free to get it. Link in the comments description. And if you just want us to automate this stuff for you, feel free to book in a free AI strategy session. Link in the comments description. You can book in a call. We'll jump on the call with you. Look at what you want to automate. Tell you whether you can do it or not. And then if you want to hire us to do it for you, we're happy to help. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.